to be back, back out on the pitch on uh, on Tuesday night and get some minutes under your belt. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's like I said, with the lockdown and everything else, it's it's been a long long wait for games, and um, obviously getting injured quite early is uh, always tough to take. But yeah, I was excited to be back in with the lads and and like you said, getting some minutes under my belt now. It was interesting watching you on, on Tuesday night. I think the amount of times you must have walked past the dugout, walked past the manager, just to go, yeah, I'm ready to come on. I'm ready, I'm ready. You, you, must, you just seemed like you was raring to go and get out on that pitch. Yeah, I'm like a, like a little kid. Um, I think the older I've got, the worse I've got in terms of pitching to play more. Um, yeah, I was, like I said, I was, I was there. The manager knew um, I was there if he needed me at some point. Um, and I think he had that in the back of his mind that he knew if uh, if the game got maybe difficult or or not so much difficult in our case where we was we was ahead, but it was just good to get me some minutes before going into the weekend room. Um, George Grant's been in in charge of your album, been looking after it while you've you've been off. How has he done? How have you felt he's done? I think um, I've known George for a few years now, and in terms of uh, his character and and how he plays, I think he's he's starting to mature into that that role really, and um, it's it's nice to see because um, he's adding adding things to his game every every, uh, every season, and especially this season under under the manager, he's um, he's, he's grown as a person and and as a player. Uh, and for you, how long does it take usually to get match fit? Is it do you find you, you get yourself fitter through matches, or do you, are you one of those players who can can get that through through training? Uh, yeah, game uh, for me, I don't think you can you you can get well the the training it can get you to a certain point, but you're never going to be ready 100 percent for a game until you're until you're in it. Um, for me, it's it's a case of um, getting as much minutes now and and. Uh, I'm just making sure I'm ready. Um, I, I, I feel fit, I feel strong. Um, it's just a case of getting the minutes now. Uh, how do you feel the other midfielders, James Jones and, and Conor McGrandles, have done as well? Yeah, they've done brilliant. Uh, they work in terms of their work rate and, and the ground and their fitness and everything. That it's, they've been brilliant. I think um, from day one since coming in, um, they've bought into the into the, the philosophy of the manager and and the, the young lads what are, are willing to learn and that's it's nice to see and I think they're going to have uh, really good careers especially here and moving on they will have good careers. You've been involved in some big games in your career in the past there's a huge game coming up next Thursday that we all know about how how important is it for, for some of the experienced players who have had those big games to, to keep the focus on what's going on Saturday rather than what's going on next Thursday? For me, um, Thursday is not a big game for us. I think the, the Saturday one is a bigger game. Um, for me, the Thursday game is a treat. It's, it's, a, it's a treat for the lads in terms of lads who haven't played against a Premier League opposition or well, the, the best team in the world at the minute. Um, it's it's just going to enjoy the occasion and 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 learn um, and testing yourself up against some of the best players in the world. So for me, Saturday is the most important game, and that that's a bigger game for me. Um, we know it's difficult at the moment not having fans in the stadium, and we all want fans back in the stadium. But as someone who is a, a big communicator on the field, do the empty stadiums in in a sense help you because you can get messages across to your teammates much easier than you would if there was a, a vociferous crowd there? Yeah, it, it it does help. Obviously, the lads can hear you a lot clearer. Um, but in terms of not having the fans, I think at the minute we're we're using that to our advantage. Um, you can, you've seen in the games that what we played in that we don't need the crowd to get us up for games. Um, the minute our mentality and, and and our concentration has been has been excellent, so we just need to keep that up. And when the crowds do start to come back, um, that could give us an extra boost as well. As in the squad, how are they all gelling together as a team? Yeah, I think in terms of squads, we've got a really good balance in terms of uh, of the players, and I think 
the manager and the recruitment staff have done a brilliant job in terms of getting the, the right players in. Um, we're, we're a good group, um, honest group, willing to learn and, uh, and want to progress in our careers. And all the lads that have come in have, <laughs> have gelled straight away. And um, all the lads that have been here previously have just uh, have took them in straight away. It's, we all know we're on the same page. We all want the same thing. So, yeah, it was easy for them to come in and, and do the business. Um, and what's the mood like in the dressing room at the moment? Four wins in a row. Yeah, it's been really good. Um, obviously, it gives you a bit of momentum going into the next game every time you come off the back of a win. Um, but we're not going to get carried away. Um, I think that's my job as well as probably the manager's job in terms of um, just keeping a level head, um, make sure they don't get too excited. Um, I've been in the situation, I've, I've had that in my career, when you could go five or six unbeaten and then you let it slip once and, and you're starting again. So, yeah, that's that's a big part of my role now is making sure the lads' heads are focused and uh, at the minute we haven't done anything. It's, it's, it's just the start. I think we've just set our standard in terms of how we want to work and play and it's just uh, it's about maintaining that now. What do you think the squad can achieve this season? You know it better than anyone. Could be anything. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say we want this, we want that. At the end of the day, we all we're all in football for one reason, and that's to to win trophies and and progress. Um, I think everyone thought in their back of their head is we want to get promoted, but at the end of the day, we know it's not. It's not as just easy as thinking it. We have to work hard at it every day and we're going to have ups and downs. It's just how we deal with it. But um, I think in terms of our mentality and, and the drive of the, the manager and the players, I think, yeah, well, we, we could do something good this season.